everybody welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be my current makeup favorites hang on i have an itchy so these are all of the products i've been using a lot recently um so we're gonna start in the order of application starting with primer for my current favorite primer the one that i keep going back to is the first aid beauty coconut skin smoothing smoothie primer more oh my gosh let's try this again the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer and you can see how much i used up i randomly got this in like a boxy charm a couple months ago maybe um I, there's really not much to this i just really like a moisturized base something that will just hydrate my skin and this really does that and it gives a nice kind of glow to the skin as well so yeah i've been loving this and it's Mm-hmm. For foundation, I've been loving this one since the beginning of summer, ever since I really bought it. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I have the shade 1N. Um, I don't know how much is left, but I'm already going to be purchase one during the next Sephora sale because I really just, I really love this. It's just, it's not too glowy so it's not going to really transfer that badly onto your mask i mean of course set it with a powder no problem but it's lightweight it's not full coverage and i really really love this it's so nice next another foundation that i've been just obsessed with just up obsessed that is the lys triple thick serum foundation this one has it's honestly quite a decent amount of coverage. It's glowy and it's not, I mean, it's full coverage without looking full coverage. It looks so natural. I am wearing this one today mixed with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick because I just love mixing stuff. I love getting use out of everything I have. So I put everything on my face all at once. But this one is just so beautiful and it's liquidy, it's lightweight, and that's like everything that I look for in a foundation. So this one has been just perfection i love it my concealer favorites they really have not changed it is this combination the kosas revealer concealer and the makeup forever ultra hd light capturing self setting concealer this one is a little too dark and this one is very very bright so i'm mixing these two together it's so nice this one is really like moisturizing and just hydrating under the eyes because I have I have terrible under eyes. They're wrinkly. That sounds really gross. <laughs> ah! But yeah, I just don't have like good under eyes. So I need I need moisturizing. I need all the moisture I can get under there. Um, but this one I really like to have a brightened effect. So I really like this one, and it's very very bright. But that's where this one comes in handy. So these two together, I just been loving and nothing's really changed i have three powders in my favorites so like i said i have terrible under eyes and i need all the help to smooth as well so i have this this is the oh my gosh the pat mcgrath lab skin fetish sublime perfecting blurring under eye powder i have the shade light the packaging it's really lightweight considering the rest of her packaging and the rest of her products are super heavy. Um, you like this is completely wearing off. I have the the product itself looks like this. I just go in with a small little brush and set right underneath and kind of around the under eye area. It's just oh my gosh. Be careful with this though, guys. If you drop it, it's probably gonna break. Powder is just falling out of this everywhere. But yeah, I love this. It smooths the under eyes and it blurs them so perfectly. I love it. Another random powder that I... What was this? Another random powder I've been using. I got an Eboxy Charm as well. It's from Fenty. I got a Fenty powder, guys. And it is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have the lavender shade, which is perfect. Because like I said, I like a brighter under eye. Um, but this, I mean, it it mattifies. Like it mattifies really good. It mattifies your makeup, which is not all like always my vibe, but wearing a mask at work, like I need something, I need something to help the, the to stop the transfer. I mean, I could just not wear makeup, but pfft, get real. 
But yeah, this one has been really nice. It's, I don't know. I'm not really a big powder gal. I don't know too much. I just know that this kind of works. And it's really nice in photos because it just smooths the skin and blurs it flawlessly. Like you don't need a filter if you have this powder. And my last powder is the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. This one I list I really like because it lightly sets without taking any glow away. Well, it takes away some shine, but it's supposed to be a little luminescent. Little luminescent. The only downside about this powder is that there is quite a bit of hard pan, but I'm still able to pick up products, so I don't see. I don't. Yeah, I don't notice it too much, but yeah. I don't know if you can supposed to open it that much. But yeah, this powder is really, really beautiful. It sets without taking away your glowiness completely. So yeah, 10 out of 10 product for me. Now we have some cream products, liquid products. Um, first off, we'll talk about this one. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I have the shade Light Medium. This has like completely blown me away. It's so creamy. It's not super warm, which I find a lot of cream bronzers to be. It's either too warm and it's meant for a bronzer, which is which is totally fine, or it's a completely like contour, super cool tone color, which is fine as well. But these kind of do the best of you kind of take those two things together, and I mean, yeah, it makes it neutral. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. It's just a beautiful neutral shade, just beautiful. And it blends so easily and it kind of leaves a kind of a sheen on your skin. It's not like super glowy. It's not flat matte either. It just kind of a satin. That's what the word I'm looking for. It's a nice satin shade. It's just easy to blend. I absolutely love it. It is be in my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, which I used to love so much. So yeah, when it comes to cream bronzing, that's kind of what I use. That's it. I love it. For my liquid blush, I've been reaching for this a ton. This is the M Cosmetics Serum Color Drops, Color Serum Drops Blush. This is their Venetian Rose Shade. Some of these are kind of finicky, to, like in my opinion. I bought I bought this in the shade Rose Milk off the Boxy Pop Up Sale, and I think I got these for six bucks each, which is insane because I think they're twenty five normally. Um, but this one has a lot more pigment than the Rose Milk one, and that's kind of what I noticed with a couple of these because I now have six of them. Some of them have more pigment, and some of them are just really really sheer. Either way, I love this formula. They're very beautiful and glowy and dewy. But this shade is gorgeous. I don't want to swatch it. I don't want to get my sweatshirt dirty because it's new. And I love this color. So I don't want to I don't want to take any chances by swatching. But just no, it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. And we'll kind of tie this one in because my powder blush is the Venetian Rose from M Cosmetics as well. Super glowy, very pink, not very pink, like a rosy pink. It's just gorgeous, and this is glowy as well. I just, I love this. I absolutely love it. For highlighter, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. Okay. Um, I finally bought the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I use it underneath my makeup mostly. But I do kind of mix it in with this. This is my Iconic London Illuminator Drops in the shade Original. This one is very metallic, so tone, to tone this one down a little bit, I will mix this one. And yeah, I love these. I love this on its own. I love this on its own. This I wouldn't really use under makeup because it is very metallic rather than just kind of like a glow booster. So yeah, I love these two so much. And yeah, this one is like, when they say filter, flawless filter, that's, you know, they mean it. Because, and I believe that very much. Going on to bronzers now. I have three. I have three. Now, I have been, you know, diving into the luxury side of beauty. And I love my Tom Ford bronzer. I love my Gucci bronzer. But 
I recently reorganized some makeup and kind of, hello sun, <laughs> and kind of pulled a couple of older products out. And this one from Hourglass, this is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. This one used to be my fave for a long time. And I recently pulled this one out again and yeah, it's just beautiful. I'm not wearing it today. This one is just gorgeous. It's subtle, it's natural, and that's why I vibe, you know, I love that. Now going a totally opposite of that, it, this bronzer here from Mented Cosmetics, this is their bronzer in the shade Beach Bum. First of all, this packaging is so, so sleek. I love that. But this bronzer, if you want a warm matte bronzer, this is perfect. If you're my skin tone, you can even be a little deeper than my skin tone and this will be so beautiful. Like I like using this along with that Fenty powder because it's just, it's beautiful on camera. It's pigmented. So I love this. If you really want a warm complexion, this bronzer will give you that. And lastly for bronzers, I have the e.l.f. Um, primer infused bronzer in Forever Sun Kissed. This is the only drugstore product that I'm talking about today. Honestly, I kind of find this comparable to my Tom Ford bronzer. It is, it's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's neutral. And it kind of gives some, it's kind of a satin bronzer. And yeah, I really find that comparable to, com blah, 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 comparable to my Tom Ford bronzer that I absolutely love. So yeah, I've been really liking this one a lot. For mascara, my favorite go-to as of late has been the ABH Lash Brag Mascara. The ABH Lash Brag Mascara, I'm wearing it today as well as like I used my Marc Jacobs mascara as well. <laughs> like I said, I like to mix things. But this one I find it doesn't smudge too bad on me. I have, like I said, bad under eyes. Every mascara seems to smudge on me, like right, right there. But, I don't know, it's like this has just been impressing me. Maybe it's just because my it's my newest one. I don't know. For brows, I'm really excited about this. Cause I, like I've, a couple of videos, videos in the summer, I talked about I haven't really been doing anything to my brows, just a brow gel, that's it. But now, like, couldn't be opposite. So the pencil that I've been using a lot alongside my brow pens that I've been using, my NYX, the Urban Decay, and my Glossier ones, I've been using this pencil. This is from Billion Dollar Brows. And I've never heard of this before. I got it in a box boxy charm. And then I saw it at Kohl's actually, like in the checkouts. They had a couple of products there. But this one is so creamy. It reminds me a lot of the benefits, precisely my brow pencils, because they're so creamy. They fluff out with the spoolie so beautifully. That's what I have in my brows for color, for filling, I should say. Just this. And I've been really impressed, especially because it's so random, right? I don't know. I really, really like it. And I can use it alone. I can use it to fluff up like the, like this part of my brow. <laughs> what's this part, what's this part called? I don't know. But for brow gel, I'm so excited about this product. It is the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel, Major Brow Lamination Gel. And this is what I have in my brows. My brow, okay, my brow's not the best today. This one's not that good. This one is all right. The shapes are a little weird. However, this will last me my nine hour shift at work plus that. This holds my brows so well because I have fluffy brows. They don't like to stay up with almost anything. Like the NYX one will do it. The Glossier kind of will do it. But this one has just taken my, my heart. This is what the applicator looks like. The wand is so long, which is kind of threw me off in the beginning because I'm used to like a very short little spoolie. Yeah, I need you to stop. After you get the hang of using a long wand, this is perfection. I absolutely love this product.
Then for eyes, I have two palettes and two like single shadows. The first one is the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow in the shade Copper Halo. This is not like anything that special. It just kind of gives them like a nice sheer base to my eyelid and that I think it looks really, really nice and perfect for layering other things on top, such as the Vanessa Myers Color Fix Foil in the shade Fantasy. This is absolutely gorgeous. The staying power on these is really, really good as well. And I love like pairing these two together. It's so beautiful. It's so easy and very effective look. I also like pairing this quad on top of this one as well. This is the Rowan Beauty 1111 eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow quad. These are insane. If you like a textured kind of metallic foiled eyeshadow, then I think you really love this. This is very, very, very expensive. It's $45 for these. I mean, I have Charlotte Tilbury. That's like $52. Anyway, I got this for like nine eleven maybe eight maybe eighteen dollars on the boxy pop pop up sale absolutely in love with this this has been one of my go-to everyday eyeshadow looks i absolutely love each and every shade in this i i love it i just love it and lastly of course a favorite is the pat mcgrath Utopian dreams eyeshadow palette this one is just stunning. It's a little more pinky, which is not always kind of like my go-to. It's either warm, neutral, or just extremely vibrant. Pinks are never really my thing. However, these just spoke to me. Um, this shade, I mean, all of them, they're really pretty. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna, I'm working on a three, three looks, one palette on this beautiful product so stay tuned for that to keep an eye out oh, pat mcgrath she just holds a very special place in my heart she is extremely expensive but you know i get sucked in get roped into that fantasy every single time like her instagram feed is just i don't even know i don't even know so yes, this is these have been my current makeup favorites, some for every day, some for, you know, like Instagram life. <laughs> that sounds so dumb, like the Fenty powder. I don't use that every day. But a favorite nonetheless, a new discovery, a new product in my collection that I've been really loving. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love for you to subscribe and like this video before you leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!